I am super excited to announce that I'm officially launching my first ever glitch transition pack. There are a lot of glitch transitions out on the internet. So what makes this one different? Well, this one not only has an enormous amount of customization to it, but it also addresses a super specific problem I've had with nearly every type of transition in Final Cut Pro. To apply these transitions, you can locate them over inside of your transitions under FCB's glitch transitions. In here, you'll see that I have 20 variations of glitches. They apply just like any other transition inside of Final Cut Pro. We can just simply click and drag it onto the place where we want the transition to take place. And let's go ahead and preview how this one looks without any modifications. Some features I would like to note is that you'll notice the background video is actually being distorted along with the transition. So going frame by frame, we can see how that background video is distorting in interesting ways. But if you don't like that distortion, you can come on over to the right side and start taking a look at all of the customization. At the very top, we have some interesting settings, which I'll get into in just a little bit but underneath that is the distortion. So we can enable or disable the distortion and you'll see how that's actually changing the video. We can adjust the direction of the distortion and the amount. You can also go ahead and just completely disable the glitch overlay. You can adjust the hue on the glitch overlay. You can adjust the saturation, the brightness, and you can even select this option to push it to the negative, which completely changes the way this particular transition looks. So here it is before and here it is after. You can also come down here and play with the different blend modes to get completely different looks. So it's all up to you how you want this transition to look. We can add in more static if we want to. We can change what that static looks like. So that's the pink noise. Maybe I'll drag that way up. You can add in this prism effect or disable it all together. You can change the angle on it. And finally, at the very bottom, we can completely flop everything. So if we want to flop the vertical on this or the horizontal, we can do all of that, giving us a completely different look. So like I said, there are 20 variations of these glitch transitions, but that is not where these particular transitions excel. These transitions solve a specific problem I have with nearly every transition type inside of Final Cut Pro. If you take a look, you'll notice that I have this title on my timeline. And with pretty much every transition you apply in Final Cut Pro, it will affect all layers underneath. So let's just go ahead and apply glitch 08. Pushing play, you'll notice that the background is also receiving that transition. And while that can look cool in a lot of instances, maybe that's what you want, there's an option to fix that with this transition pack. To resolve that issue, all you need to do is come up to the top right corner under the overlay option and change it from filled frame over to mask two. So now it's going to be masking to the size of whatever image is receiving the transition. Because of that, it's also going to mask to the underlying video at this point. So you'll notice that that video is 16 by nine. So as we play the transition, the first half of this transition will also be affecting the underlying video until we see the text. So that brings in another important option and that is to enable or disable clip A. Clip A is the clip that happens first in the timeline. So in this instance, we want to go ahead and disable that. Coming over to the right, we can disable it. And now if we push play, you'll notice that that transition is only taking place on our title. Now there are instances where you may want to enable that clip A feature. So let's go ahead and apply another transition type, maybe glitch 13 and we'll go ahead and change it over to mask two and pushing play. We can see how just the title and the logo are receiving that glitch transition without affecting the underlying layers. So if you're interested in picking up this pack, there are links down below. And because it's launch week, I'm gonna have a special discount code for all of you who showed up early to this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And with that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.